Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Financial Future. This is your go to source for the latest financial updates and news. I hope you're all having a wonderful day. First and foremost, the headline that has everyone buzzing stimulus checks are still making their way to deserving pockets in 2024. The thrill doesn't end there. We're talking about checks ranging from $550 to an astonishing $2,400. The fact that the financial windfall continues is both surprising and heartening. In this video, we're going to dissect the most recent updates, giving you the lowdown on which states are still in the game and what these checks mean for individuals across the nation. Now, shifting gears to the revolutionary concept of universal basic income. It's not just a buzzword anymore, it's a movement gaining momentum across the country. Pilot programs have emerged as beacons of success, prompting more regions to consider adopting UBI or guaranteed income programs. The burning question on everyone's mind is whether we're on the brink of a federal UBI rollout. Imagine every single person in the country receiving a monthly stipend of $1,200 for the next five years. The mere thought of it is electrifying. Back in 2023, Congress introduced legislation proposing this groundbreaking monthly allowance, and here we are in 2024, anxiously awaiting its potential realization. What's catalyzed this discussion is the proven success of UBI initiatives and guaranteed income programs scattered across the nation. These programs are changing lives and challenging the conventional wisdom around poverty and financial assistance. Now let's delve into the specifics of the ongoing stimulus checks. Forget about waiting for a federal lifeline, some states are taking matters into their own hands. States like Pennsylvania, Alaska, Massachusetts, Minnesota, Montana, New Mexico, and Washington are still sending out checks. A notable standout is Michigan, where approximately 700,000 families are set to receive rebate checks of around $550 starting this year. It's a financial boon that promises to provide much-needed relief to those who need it most. Switching gears to the Lone Star State, Texas is making waves in the stimulus realm. Retired teachers aged 70 to 74 are in for a windfall, receiving $2,400 checks by year-end. But the excitement doesn't stop there. Those over 74 are eligible for payments of up to a staggering $7,500. It's a remarkable gesture to honor the dedicated educators who have contributed so much to society. Now, let's talk about the Rising Star of Income Initiative's Guaranteed Income Programs. These programs are gaining traction as proven methods to address poverty. Critics caution against offering money without work requirements, but the success stories emerging from these programs are challenging the skeptics. Let's dive into some compelling headlines. Crossing borders, Vancouver implemented a program where 50 homeless individuals received a one-time, no-strings-attached payment of $5,500 Canadian dollars, equivalent to $5,500. The results were astounding 99 fewer days spent unhoused, and participants started savings initiatives. The proof is in the pudding, and these programs are undeniably making a positive impact. Stockton, California, entered the fray with a universal basic income program showcasing similar positive outcomes. These success stories are prompting more areas to jump on the guaranteed income bandwagon. For instance, a Texas county is planning to allocate $500 a month to low-income residents in the Houston area as part of a guaranteed income pilot program. With $2.5 million in COVID relief funds earmarked for the initiative, it's a promising step toward addressing financial disparities. Now let's address the elephant in the room the prospect of a $1,200 monthly check for every adult and $600 per month for every child. This proposal, known as the Support Act, is not just a pipe dream. It was in Congress in 2023, although it's currently in a slow-moving lane. 
the tantalizing prospect of a federal UBI is causing ripples of excitement. Imagine a cash injection, no strings attached, for five years. It's an audacious proposal, but it raises critical questions about funding sources and the overall impact on society. But, of course, we want to hear from you. What are your thoughts on universal basic income? Should it be implemented on a local or federal level? Do you believe it's a viable solution to address financial disparities and uplift communities? Share your opinions in the comments below. We're eager to hear your perspectives on this game-changing concept. Thank you for tuning in, and I hope this whirlwind of financial news has left you informed and inspired. That's the end of today's video. I will see you guys in the next video. If you liked the video, please make sure to subscribe to the Financial Future channel for more upcoming videos.